What's up, Internet? Dahil sa channel, over the years, marami ako nadaanan na headsets from the hot mess that was the Steel Series. Hindi ko na nga maalala ano yung model na yun. To the one I still dream about, the ROG Delta. To the very reliable Asus Top H3. To the headset na nilang ako sa kapalit ko yung Corsair Void Wireless. After all of that, how does the Cooler Master MH670 stack up? Bibili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com First off, it's super easy to use. Just make sure that it's fully charged before you start using it for the first time. Plug in the USB receiver to your computer. The computer detects and downloads the drivers automatically. Then just turn on the headset. The two will pair automatically. There's a small red light on the USB receiver that tells you that it's not paired. When you turn on the headset, a green light goes on the headset and then the receiver turns green as well. Super simple. I'm usually worried about pairing wireless things. Usually, dun tayo nagkaka problema. Tapos, since wireless, parang di mo masabi dun sa isang component, na kumabit dun sa isang component. It's just like they really just won't talk to each other. No such problems at all with the MH670. What I also really liked was when you turn off the headset, it automatically disengages from your computer. Tapos kung may speakers na nakakabit dun sa computer, they'll automatically become the default audio device. So if you like switching between your headset and speakers, this is super easy. All you need to do is to turn off the headset and then sound will pipe up from your speakers automatically. Battery life is quite long as well. I've never reached the point where the headset died on me. I've used this for hours and hours of streaming, as well as for gaming, as well as for gaming plus streaming. The battery never died on me. The build quality is solid, but sometimes a bit too solid. I felt that while the cups were comfortable and they encased my ears nicely, sometimes the headset just seemed a bit too constricting. Like it kind of wanted to mush my head in, but very gently over time. That said, I have used it for hours and hours, and usually the ache only comes after you remove it. Although medyo ganun talaga ako sa headset, wala talagang headset na after hours of use, sobrang comfortable talaga. The best I've been able to experience is like the MH670, that it's good while you're wearing it. And then there's a bit of discomfort if you've worn it for too long after you take it off. This is a wireless headset, and the range was very good, but not the best that I've tried. It roughly has the range of around 4 fifths of the best headset I've tried, the ROG Delta, as well as the Sennheiser headset I use when watching videos or TV shows. That said, all of these things basically rely on line of sight. Once you lose line of sight, quality degrades quite quickly. The MH670 was on par with basically everything else when it came to losing line of sight. On the sound quality, I have no complaints at all. All the sound effects of the games, all the dialogue of the videos, everything that I threw at it came out quite clear. Nothing sounded tiny or off sometimes when you have a poor quality headset. I did use some of the tests on YouTube where they play with different audio qualities. And while the MH670 didn't quite reach the maximum of those qualities that supposedly a good headset should have, to be honest, I don't think my ears are that perceptive. They wouldn't be able to discern them anyway. So the ranges which I did hear through the MH670 were quite acceptable. Those tests also mimic spatial locations so like if you can hear a sound to your left behind you rotating around you and actually the mh670 performed quite well with those spatial cues as for the mic quality you really don't need to hear it from me you can hear it for yourself i use this headset extensively in my most recent live streams both for gaming and for the talkie live streams that we have now we've started carrying the ram and it looks um looks pretty good as well but so far, all of our tests have gone, all of our trial runs have gone pretty well. 2014, 
the actual hard work began in 2019 are looking into some form of blockchain. For, their- for me, the mic quality was pretty good. It doesn't have the deadening underwater kind of quality that some other headsets have. Yung tipong you're just talking on an airplane by yourself. The MH670 does pick up some warmth and richness which sets it apart from some of the other headsets I've tried where basically you sound like you're underwater. The build quality is very solid but it's not a flashy headset. There's no RGB. It's basically all in black. A very understated headset but at the same time the parts are very premium. Detachable mic, all of the cables that come with it, and there are multiple cables, are not rinky-dinky. They are solid additions. Even the bag it comes with is premium. So it's not a look-at-me headset, but it's definitely a quality headset. It does come with a 3.5mm jack, so you can plug it into basically anything. Any appliance these days has 3.5mm, except of course for a lot of the Apple devices. Outside of Apple though, you'll basically be able to use this with anything else. The virtual 7.1 surround though only works on PC. Some very minor gripes. The rubber plug that keeps the hole for the microphone covered is really, really, really difficult to remove. But I like having the mic off if I know like I'm just gonna use it for audio. It won't need the mic to pick up my voice for streaming or things like that. So I do detach the microphone. But it's really a heck of a time trying to get the rubber plug in and out of that particular socket. Other than that, I'm really kind of hard-pressed to find anything seriously wrong with this headset. It's been my daily driver for around two months. I am quite happy with it. A little pricey, but for the premium quality of the build and of the accessories, as well as the fact that it's wireless, it's money well worth it. Yes, it doesn't have the bells and whistles of RGB or even ASUS's built-in AI noise cancellation technology. In many ways, this is a classic headset. It does its job well, it doesn't draw attention to itself, and you can focus more on the audio rather than having to tinker around with its settings. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwa na to. Dejo lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.